All right, we're gonna talk about something that has been challenging a lot of our students here over the last several years. We're of course talking about uh, the pandemic and reports from across the nation show that there was a lot of learning loss during the pandemic. Yeah, about 35% of a normal school year was lost. That learning that would normally happen was lost and students still have not recovered apparently. So we're talking about what can be done to help them catch up and then of course get ahead. This morning, we have newly appointed at Kern County Superintendent of Schools, Dr. John Mendeberu, joining us here live on set to talk about how KCSOS is part of helping kids get back on track. Well, good, good morning. morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Thanks so obviously, yeah, this was, I mean, the pandemic, so much was lost. We we kind of knew that was it was kind of expected, but then we saw the test results, and it was not just an issue here in Kern County. It was across the nation. Students are behind more than they've ever been. How, how do we move forward? How do we move forward to make sure that our students get back on track? Yeah, one of the biggest things that we saw during the pandemic was um, the, the, the learning loss that occurred. And that was mainly because of the fact that students were not in the classroom. They were getting services, they were getting education via virtual, uh, but yeah. just not having that one-on-one -on -one, hands-on connection is what really led to the learning loss. Uh, coming out of the pandemic, we're fortunate, particularly here in Kern County, we have um, a collaborative effort with all our 46 school districts and charters with the uh, Kern Education Pledge where we come together and really work and find common good that we can do to um, promote and advance our students. Uh, one of the things that the state has done is with uh, expanded learning opportunities that has provided districts uh, additional resources and funding to provide the one-on-one -on -one, um, fillers for gap loss and learning loss uh, such things during the summertime uh, we're doing um, uh, different community type events as far as um, stem camps uh, through our current county superintendent schools over at calm with the um, bakersfield museum of arts yeah. we also have the uh, keep program that's yeah. over yes. where all the students that love this yeah we could do one day um, events where they can catch up on the student or the science, technology, and math. And yeah. so we're working on those kind of efforts. Uh, through the Kern County Superintendent Schools, uh, we are able to really bring resources together and help districts, particularly here in Kern, some of our small districts with resources and additional um, events that they can do with our students. Because uh, the fact that all students really lost a lot of learning, do you think that now more than ever, parents should take that option, choose the extra summer school, choose the extra camp, um, maybe when in the past they'd be like, well, let them have the time off, but they actually need it now to get back to where they should be. Yes, uh, more than ever, the summer programs are an opportunity to continue that learning that they have done through their uh, school year. Uh, the summertime, a lot of times students would take that as opportunities to advance or to move ahead or to, for this summer, we're really looking at filling that gap to continue the learning that they've been getting through their school year and continuing to move them forward to to capture anything that they may be struggling or or do need advancement in. You, of course, have just been named the new superintendent of schools, uh, Dr. Mary Barlow, of course, retiring at the end of next month. Uh, what is your focus as you take on this new role? What are some of the things that you're really going to be looking at to improve the education uh, for the students here in Kern County? Um, student growth and student mm -hmm. success. Uh, that's what we're all in the business for. Any Anyone who's in education is here for students and wanting to see them strive and, and grow. And we've had a great foundation here in Kern County uh, through the Kern Education Pledge. Dr. Barlow uh, really emphasized that, bringing all school districts together and really working for that focus of student growth. And that's my plan is to continue that and to continue building upon that and really honing in on areas of uh, weaknesses and strengths that we can provide for our students as we continue to move forward and make Kern County one solid county for our kids. Of course, we're running low on time. I got to ask you, what is the one thing you hope parents will do, uh, not just during the summer, but next year once school starts back up again? What, what is the one thing you just wish parents would do more of? Uh, continue being involved in their child's education uh, and know what they're learning. Uh, education has really changed since when they were students. Right. Uh, academics, standards, and everything, and being involved with their students on a day-to-day -day basis will enhance their students. It's huge. Yes. It's huge. That family buy-in is so important. Dr. John Mendeboro, thank you for coming in this oh, morning. We you. appreciate it. Also, thank a CSUB graduate, by the way. Yeah.